So I'm really stoked about this cool tool called Google Tour Builder. Now, it was originally a Google Earth experiment, as you can see up top here. But now, starting this month, Google has opened this up to a Google Maps two-dimensional API. And so now it works on Chromebooks, which instantly makes it more interesting to me because that's what most of my students have. So I just want to give a little lay of the land of how to use this tool, some of the different features involved, and really encourage you to explore it. I think it takes what Google My Maps has done with Maps, and really takes it to the next level in terms of what you can do on a Chromebook and the applications for school. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new tour. So we're just going to call this, uh, let's say, colleges. Author name. Let's go JG. And we create the tour. So we start with an introduction. So here we have the tour name, the author name. We can put in a summary, the type of story. And since 3D really isn't going to work, we'll go with a story of 2D because that's what it's going to show us anyways. All right. And then you can change your path color if you choose. And then there are some advanced options as they relate to what shows up on the map. All right. So in here, you put a little description, including a link. And you can also add a photo including searching, uploading, including albums from G+, and image by URL. I'm just going to search for one of my universities. There's the image. And we keep going. And it saves automatically as you go. So you don't have to worry about saving anything. I'm going to click Add Location. And now here's where you can start to put stuff in. So I'm going to start with this one here. Now I can go ahead and add that to the tour. And then you can start to mess around with this a little more. Now Google does have some historical maps. Uh, I don't know necessarily that they're going to show up in this case if I put in start date um, and end date, but you can certainly put that in to add a little more clarity to each point. So I could say I started there in September of 2006. Oh, sorry, September 1st of 2006. And I ended in May 15th of 2007. And I could say I spent my freshman year here. And you can also change the icon down here as well. So you know, if there's a really good picture of a school, uh, we'll just put a star on it. That'll be good. Now there are some advanced options if you have a map that you've exported. Like out of My Maps, you can export this. Or if you're importing from Google Earth, you can bring it in here. So you can already add that. That'll, that could be really quick if you already have something made. And then as far as your view is concerned, you can go ahead and, and zoom in on this spot as close as you want it to go. get a good idea of what this looks like. And then you can lock this view. So when you go through the tour, it's going to come right back to this spot. All right. However, my favorite part that I think might be a sign for some things that Google is working on is in this section right here for adding photos and videos. For the first time in any Google product I've seen, they give you the option to upload your own videos or to record video from your webcam. That's huge because in all the other tools you have to go through YouTube which can be a problem for schools. This, the students could either record the video or find a way to get the video file and put it on here, uh, thus preventing that issue and allowing them to have a lot more engaging type of products. Uh, so I think that's awesome. I'm glad that's, that's included in this. I don't really have any videos right now that I'm ready to throw up here, but definitely a neat feature as well. Also, you can still search for images, which is nice. All right. So then you can keep adding locations. 
as so. And I'm not sure of a limit at this point of how many locations you can add. And you can see that it's connected with the black line, so that's what draws our path. And when you're ready, you can click Done Editing. And then you have a couple different options. You can either share it, keep editing it, create a new tour, or play it full screen to see what it looks like. So when I click play full screen, it's kind of starting on the last point where I was, so I'd have to hit back to go to the start. So here we go. Colleges, the colleges I attended. There's my pretty little picture. So when I click next the first time, it's going to zoom in on that view that I locked of this place. Here's my picture, and then here is my info and the dates that I spent there. Then when I go next, it flies me over to Stout. And so they didn't put any information here. There is none. Uh, but you can definitely see some really cool uses with this. Um, I would love to see some different types of storytelling occur through this medium. You know, right now a big topic in our schools is immigration. And this would be a great way to map an immigration story. Um, so there are lots of amazing ways that students can really create some, some cool looking things using this tool.